Let's go. Okay, back again for the second part. Okay, we start off here out of the jail. We gotta talk to Lyris. Come. Again, we're gonna the zip through. I have no idea. He wants us to go break the Sentinel. Uh, basically, it is on the map. We see that it's one of two spots. Uh, you can press F wherever your arrow is, and it'll put something on your map so you can follow. But basically, we just have to go down and up the first set of stairs, which is what we're going to end up doing. So, so if you watch, we will again run, pressing the shift, so we can get through this as quickly as possible. Get on to the real meats and potatoes. Now these things, after they die, they explode. That's a bad thing sometimes. Okay, we'll let him fight. We'll go past. Let's get up here. Our regen's pretty good. Again, the Nord with the two-handed kind of helps you zip through this. Plus with the casting eventually. Uh, we missed the chest. Usually there's a chest here that you want to open. It's got some goodies. If you want, you can hang there and wait. Uh, it usually spawns every five to eight minutes. Quickly. While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. Okay, so after we kill that, we want to go off, off to the Prophet's cell. Which is... Uh, opposite side of where we came from. Okay, so basically... Uh, okay, again we just press the E. We already have the auto loot on, which helps a lot. And we run down. thing you can do, if you time it right, you can hold the left mouse button and run towards them while holding it. That way you get your big hit off. Uh, if you time it right, you can run in and get a big hit before they even get an attack. As you saw there, it was just like a double hit and they're dead. Okay, let's go up here quickly. Of course the door is locked. The door is warded. We'll yeah. never get in this way. And again, we've got to talk to Laris. So we're going to pause off of here and we'll continue on in a second. Thanks for watching.